You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, Black and White Sports supporters, we're going to talk about Josh McDaniels and something has surfaced this morning regarding Josh McDaniels tenure with the Denver Broncos and if this is true, I cannot imagine how this guy ever sniffed another NFL head coaching job. As we know, his second job, Las Vegas Raiders, many years later, was a train wreck. He just got fired last week. It was an utter disaster. He lost the locker room. They couldn't stand, I guess, the culture that he set up. And as we know, there were stories coming out that he got into it with Antonio Pierce. There was a, a team meeting where, I mean, everybody just destroyed him, right? Whatever he does, whatever his personality is, does not work as a head coach. It was an utter disaster. Now, he's been a good offensive coordinator. That's great. But this story absolutely will blow your mind because, as we know, this player would go on to have one of the best single offensive seasons anybody has ever seen that landed him a Madden cover. And the writing was on the wall that Peyton Hillis could have ended up being a very good player. He could have been Christian McCaffrey before Christian McCaffrey. The problem was he ended up getting injured after that massive year in Cleveland. But this is nuts that you allowed your personal feelings allegedly, to cloud an issue so badly that you got rid of a player, and Peyton Hillis, guys, had 522 total yards and six touchdowns in his rookie year with the Denver Broncos. But Josh McDaniels evidently wanted to get him away from his wife. Yeah, I couldn't believe this. This is unbelievable. This shows a total lack of self-confidence. If this is true, it is utterly insane. There's Josh. There's his wife back in Denver. The Raiders gave Josh McDaniels the boot last week, and it seems like the floodgates of bad stories about him are bursting wide open. The first story that came out recently is that McDaniels got the news he was out of a job last Tuesday night. Instead of letting his kids enjoy their Halloween trick-or-treat, he actually called them back home to break the news. But apparently that's just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to McDaniel's questionable coaching career and character. Former Broncos tight end Nate Jackson, who's now an author, wrote an article shedding light on McDaniel's failure as a head coach in the NFL and shared a number of interesting stories from his time around the uh, the team when he was there in 2009. According to Jackson, McDaniel's had a fragile ego, no shit, both on and off the field. Jackson shared a rumor for why McDaniel's traded away future star running back Peyton Hillis. It was because his own wife, Laura, found Hillis to be attractive. She thought he was hot. Oh, my God. Okay. Jackson put it this way, quote, McDaniel's ego wasn't just a delicate flower on the field. He famously sent Peyton Hillis packing because word had it, McDaniel's thought his wife had a thing for the guy. Woo-wee! Yikes. Peyton Hillis went on to have a breakout season with the Browns in 2010, gaining 1,654 total yards with 13 total touchdowns on his way to becoming EA Sports' Madden 2012 cover athlete. And there it is right there, of course. Famously, that uh, Mad we all remember that Madden cover. Jackson didn't stop with just the Hill of Story. He shared a personal story about his own departure from the Broncos. I found out my Broncos career was over from a message left on my parents' answering machine. 
Quote, honey, there's something I think you need to listen to. When I tried to contact Josh for an explanation, his secretary told me he was in a meeting and then he'd have to call him back. He never did. Wow. Wow. With stories like this, it's no wonder McDaniels didn't make it as a head coach. Do you realize these players with the Raiders had to have heard about this? And, I mean, as soon as you hear something like this, you're going to be completely checked out. I mean, the respect you're going to have for this guy is going to be obliterated immediately. And this is this is Peyton Hillis right here. He, he ended up getting hurt after that massive season he had back in 2010, and he just sort of fell off the map. Uh, I think there was a story. He, om- he was fighting for his life earlier in the year because I think he rescued some kids from drowning, and he, he was in ICU. He was fighting for his life. He did come out, thank goodness. Um, but had Peyton Hillis stayed healthy, there's no telling what he could have done because he had that season back when he was 24 years old. And then it was a bunch of started nine games, started two games, one game, and then no starts because he just could not stay on the field. Wow, this Josh McDaniels thing looks worse and worse and worse. And yet another story comes out, this one, uh, Devontae Adams and an interaction he had, it looks like with an NBA referee on Josh McDaniels that makes it look even worse. I mean, this has been one of the worst moves, and it tells you, you know, you know a guy's, uh, and keep in mind, the Colts hired Josh McDaniels too. Okay, so clearly... There was something about McDaniels among NFL ownership. They respected the guy for what he was doing with the Patriots. But I almost feel like there was a certain amount of shielding going on of some sort from the Patriots. Or or people respected Belichick so much that he just talked up McDaniels to the point that people were willing to give him a job. I know there are a lot of people were like, well, I think McDaniels has grown up and matured, and there were these stories that he had learned a lot of lessons, and then you saw how petty he was when you heard that Antonio Pierce shared a story regarding the Giants beating the Patriots, and Josh McDaniels got butt hurt by it, which is ridiculous. If you don't want the guy to share his playing experiences as an ex-player, don't hire him. But even at that, I mean, that's fragile. That's a total beta that you don't have enough confidence in yourself. You can keep a guy on the team because your wife made a crack. Come on. So let's get to this because this came out with Devonte Adams about Josh McDaniels. And he had an interaction with a referee about McDaniels. And you can tell it's all about what was going on in that locker room the way the players felt around this guy as a coach, it's crazy. It's like 5,000 bricks got lifted up off the entire team. It's going to be better now. I mean, and we know famously, I mean, Devontae Adams had a massive meltdown on the sideline of Monday Night Football because you got one of the top three receivers in the league and you're doing nothing with him. It's crazy. You're not getting him the ball. And this this Raiders team, it's not like we, we do a lot of Patriots videos. It's not like the Patriots. It's not like the Patriots. They got weapons everywhere. Josh Jacobs, Devontae Adams, Jacoby Myers, Hunter Renfro wasn't even being used. Who knows why he was blackballed? Josh McDaniels was trying to trade him. Did your wife think Hunter Renfro was hot? Is that why you wanted him out of town? I mean, that's just nuts. I, I, I saw this and was like, whoa, WTF. 
And this guy, I mean, somebody will hire him back as an offensive coordinator, uh, I guess. I don't know. After everything that's come out now, I, I maybe they won't. They'll see his ass in the new U.S. XFL or whatever it is. Who knows? It's crazy. It's nuts. Tell me what you think. Make sure you subscribe. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.